In this video, I'm continuing to shame a hundred orcs down until they go crazy. After they're crazy, I'm recruiting them so they can go into a massive pit fight tournament. But if any of these orcs die while I'm shaming them, the chat member that owns that orc does not get a replacement. They are dead for good. Unless they come back, which does happen in this video. Enjoy! Alright, we are back shaming more orcs. This time we have Grisha the Flame Monger, who belongs to Shark, a member of my community. He grabbed this orc on a live stream on Twitch. I wrecked this orc. Here comes his first shaming. This levels him all the way down to level 61. I then find him again in the beautiful park area. Here he is, here he's level 55 now. Oh, he fell over there. Oh no, he's back up. Never mind. Anyway, I take the fight to him, hitting him with the explosive attack, hitting him with the poison elven light. He's very weak right now. I'm about to get in there. Oh, and I'm not fast enough. He gets poisoned. The flame monger goes down. I just wasn't fast enough. But if I was Shark, this orc's owner, you know, I'd keep my eyes on the horizon, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. Looks at camera. We've got a few orcs intertwined here. First up, we've got Garl the Venomous, who belongs to Swamp Monkey. And he's mixed up with Tars the Thunderer, who belongs to Plaka. We need their gear, lads. If they give us a bit of a struggle, well, that's a bonus. <laughs> We're going to kill you! How should I put it? Horribly! Tar's there just casually walking into a wall. You know, he is basically Ellen Page from X-Men at this point. There we go, I weaken him down. He's getting his first shaman. Will he go crazy? Go on, Tars. Go crazy for me. Get mean! No, he does not go crazy. I get more luck with Garl, who's already crazy. So all I have to do is recruit him and he's ready for the pits. Now and then the trap Tars down. Begin. We'll have such fun with your corpse. Give him the quick shaman and he becomes a maniac. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at this right here. Oh, beautiful. You love to see it. You love to see it. While I was tracking down Tars, I came across the Battle Hardened, who belongs to Soul Reaper. Such a cool looking old log. Look at him. Look at all those scratches on him. Now you get fight you want! Now you get beaten into sludge! That is an old log that owns many, many feral cats. As I'm fighting this big cat scratching post, look who shows up. Oh, he sounds great. He sounds like the white noise that I go to sleep to every night. But just then, I'm ambushed by the chain driver. Clearly these orcs are not happy with what I'm doing here. They're not happy with me shaming their brothers down until they're a drooling mess. And then making them fight in the pits for your entertainment. Why do they have a problem with that? The fight breaks up and I'm able to shame Tars down again. He was a maniac, which means he gained levels all the way up to level 85. So he had the privilege. No, no, no. The honor of being shamed again by me. This rightfully made the chain driver become terrified. I jump on over to him, shame his helmet wearing ass. And his level 69 ass goes completely crazy. He also becomes a maniac, just like Tars. I am more strong than you think. Much more. I take this chance to fight the battle hardened one on one, smashing myself into the fireplace, summoning my spiders. I thought this Olog owning lots and lots of cats would mean that he was very susceptible to going crazy, but apparently not. He's strong. He's got a strong mind. <laughs> Unlike the chain driver, he has now become full on Joker. I shame him down once more and then I recruit him and he is going to go straight into the pits, laughing maniacally at his opponents. I stumble across Shaka the Cook who belongs to Ink, shame him down, call him useless, he goes crazy. Beautiful. 
I wait around here for a few seconds. He respawns beside me. Crazy as hell. <laughs> Just imagine that standing opposite you in the pits. Absolutely terrifying. Anyway, I recruit this man. Ink, your orc is alive and well. Back to hunting down towers. I find him outside the inner gates here, loitering about with his friends. As you can hear, he's absolutely ecstatic to see me. I recruit him. He's going into the pits. The next orc I go after is a very cool one. No one kicks me out of their armies. I leave armies. And now I'll leave your body here in the dust. Borgu the Power Hungry, who belongs to Adderkob, one of my favorite streamers. Anyway, I weaken him down, I shame him. Look how cool he is, look at that headpiece. He goes crazy. Beautiful, you love to see it lads, you love to see it. When an orc goes crazy and there's no unexpected deaths. I smash into the fireplace like it owes me money. Oh, he's sounding great. He is ready to go into the pits. I recruit him. He's in the army. Look at how cool he looks again. Just look at that. He's like a small chosen. The next orc on my list is Zugor the Red. Zugor the Red here, hanging out with his friends, having a drink, having a wee celebrate. I do the usual explosive attack here, and look who shows up. His blood brother. Stop it! You won't stop it. I'll stop it. I will stop it. You've been causing a lot of trouble, and now you got more. Oh, and Zugor becomes the bitter. He is no longer the red. Anyway, he's getting shamed down. I wonder what's made him so bitter. Like, why does he feel this way towards me? I just can't quite put my my finger or my hand on it. I just can't. Just can't do that, lads. Like, why is he so angry at me? Anyway. Hug the complainer. He's also getting it. Palm to the side of the face. Scorching heat. The shame of a thousand sons. Goodbye, Poog. Hopefully, he goes crazy. You know, I quite like him. As I was traveling to find the bitter, I get ambushed by Blackthorn. Let's see if you handle this one any better. So I'm like, okay, this is as good a time as any. Let's shame you down, Blackthorn. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Look at the size of him. Also a very cool looking old log. Look at that helmet. Very cool. He's getting the shame. He's getting the shameies. The shaming. He's level 69. Ha ha ha. Love that. And just as I set off again. The sadistic. One of my lovely friends here gives me a gift. Now he's currently recruited. That was to get him off the board. But he does need to be shamed. He needs to go crazy for me before he fights in the pits. So I'm like, alright. Thanks for the gift mate. Get some shames. After that, I'm feeling pretty good. I catch up to the bitter. I shame his ass again, giving him more reasons to feel bitter for me. But still, he does not go crazy. I catch up to him again. I'm giving him the old explosive attack. He's currently poisoned. Oh, no. He dies of poison. He clatters to the floor. Absolutely tragic. I was just... I don't know my own strength. I'm sorry, chat. Another one is gone. A few minutes after this happens, I get ambushed. Poog the complainer, who's gone crazy, very upset I killed his blood brother. I begin to fight Poog, but he is called the complainer, he's a bit of a coward, he starts to retreat. I chase after him because he's poisoned, and as I go to shame him, my character locks onto the random grunt, and Poog clatters to the floor. Another orc dead from poison. Anyway, moving swiftly on, I'm tracking down the sadistic. The Olog steps in the way of his camera shot there. We fight. I shame him down. He goes crazy. You know, it's the story you've heard a thousand times at this point. Listen to that. Ah, oh, I could just fall asleep to that. Beautiful white noise. I catch up to him again, hitting him with the poison. You know, you think I'd learn my lesson about poison, but he seems to be pretty immune to the poison, which means he's definitely 100% going to live.
Yep, he's ready. I'm gonna take him out of the oven right now. He is cooked perfectly. Let's get him recruited. Let's get him into the pits. The next orc I'm tracking down is Hoskris, the serpent. A disgusting, slippery, slimy snake orc. I sneak up on him here. I hit him with a stealth attack and then I start peppering him with arrows. He doesn't even get to say anything to me. What does he even sound like? Has he got a personality? Doesn't matter. He's getting to shame. I shame him down once, twice, and as I'm going to find him to shame him for the third time, I come across Bag of the Warrior. Bag of the Warrior, by the way, has his own video on my channel. You can go watch that now. I shame Bag of the Warrior down. And just as I'm trying to recreate that photo of the, the girl surrounded by the guys on the sofa, you know the photo, you know that meme. Look who shows up to ruin my fun. I'm gonna bleed you so bad. The only thing running through your veins will be Mordor's black hair. It's Grisha the Flamemonger. He's come back to us, chat. He's very excited. Clearly he just really wants to fight in the pits. Or he's a massive fan of that photo I was trying to recreate and he had to come back just to come and see that amazing photo. What am I talking about? I give him the old freeze hit 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 smash. He's ready to be shamed. I didn't kill him this time. Not poisoning him. I know he hates poison. He loves fire. He hates poison. Giving him the big shame. Thank you for coming back to life, Grisha. Thank you so much, mate. There you go. Sounds like he's ready for the tournament, am I right, chat? After I shamed him down and he went crazy, this guy, you know, this berserker, he just seemed really keen to get the kill. So I was like, you know what? Why not? Look at all the dead bodies. Look, look, look at the chaos that I've created here. I should give something back to the local orc community. You know, I am the Mr. Beast of Middle Earth. So here we go. This old man orc here. I'm letting him kill me. Let's see what he becomes. Ogbur the Bleeder, okay. Not exactly thrilled with how he turned out, but you know, have a great life, Ogbur. The next orc I was after was Ishmaz the Nightbringer. Very cool looking knight shadow orc here. I'm just gonna keep talking over what he's saying, you know, I don't think he's saying anything very, very interesting, you know, I'm just gonna talk over that. I weaken him down, I give him the shame. He doesn't go crazy. Sadly, you know, he's strong, strong-minded. Start peppering him with arrows. He shouts darkness. I shame his ass down again. He doesn't go crazy, but after this shaming, he actually disappears for a little bit. So I decided to go give a little visit to the bleeder, see what he's about. He was hanging out with the serpent as well. Break every weak little bone in your body, I start fighting them both. Obviously, so overconfident here. As I'm fighting the serpent, the bleeder gets behind me, knocks me down, and he's got no chance. Absolute disaster. Clearly, he knew that I called him mediocre. Well, bad for you. Oh dear, the bleeder got me. Anyway, I'm tracking him down again. They're back in the exact same place, hanging out. I smash in there, smash their fireplace. I start laying into him, hitting him with arrows. He's not getting the better of me this time. No way, mate. Now that I know that you have no chance, I'm not gonna give you a chance. I get in there, I wreck him, he's getting shamed. I shame him down, but sadly, he doesn't go crazy. He doesn't succumb to the shame. After that, I turn my attention back to the serpent. I hit him with the old execution, and I shoot him in the head with an arrow, and it kills him. I had no idea he was that weak to headshots. Could have checked it. But no, I'm not gonna do that. Gotta keep it entertaining. Anyway, back to the Nightbringer. I hunt him down here. I go for the stealth attack. Oh my god, it kills him! I'm on a rampage right now. Maybe I've maybe I've gone crazy. Maybe I'm the maniac chat. Maybe I've become deranged. I just killed two orcs in the space of like five minutes or two clips. If you're watching it on YouTube, my god, absolutely crazy. The next orc I encountered was Tugog the Bone Crusher, who belongs to I Am Shadow. The fight didn't last too long. Explosive attack, poison elven light. Not gonna let him die from poison here. I'm shaming him down. But he doesn't go crazy. We'll see him again shortly. 
Straight after I shame the Bone Crusher or Hanuk, the Swift starts to fight me. He belongs to Salamian. As you can see, I use the explosive attacks. Get in there, shame him down. Quite a cool looking red Olog. Back to the Bone Crusher. I'm hitting him with the explosive attack. It's absolutely cutting through him. He stands no chance. And I accidentally almost kill him. I forgot he is very weak to executions. It's hard to stay on top. Obviously, I'm not going to kill him. He gets up, runs off. I find him again, and I do the exact same thing, almost killing him. He might have died from being enraged and poisoned there, so maybe a good thing that he did this. And, uh, yeah, not going to kill him. Oh, really wanted the present there. He headbutts me. What a sign of disrespect. I shame him again. He doesn't go crazy. I give him one more shaming, just for good luck. Still not crazy. After I shamed him down again, you know, I get that little niggle where I'm like, all right, let's see what this guy is going to become. Mr. Beast, hands out millions, millions of dollars. These Ologs, they're going to become a captain, a war chief, maybe even an overlord one day. He might even be in the F Asterix video. Well, I suppose he's in, he's in one right now. Our Saku, is he going to be cool though? Am I going to raid him? Oh, let's see. Oh, the runner. Uh, uh, no, it's it's another stinker. Anyway, I catch up to the old Bone Crusher. I think he's missing me. You know, I, I think I, I've gone really attached to him. And there we go to the old the jumping arrows. Let's shame him down. That didn't work, so I'm shaming him down again, all the way from level 15. Oh. He's gone crazy. He's gone crazy. <laughs> That's the perfect dialogue. What a perfect bit of dialogue. It did take him a while. Anyway, I miss hitting him here with some arrows. Oh no! I uh, It was an arrow to like the knee. The knee or the thigh. Oh my god. I can't believe I've killed another one. How many orcs have died in this video so far? My goodness. Anyway, moving swiftly on. I go to track down our good friend, the Flamemonger. It's about time we got him in the army, and I've not seen how crazy he is yet. Oh, yeah. Yep, he's good to go. He's good to go. Let's get. Let, let's not kill him. Oh, that was very close. That was very close. He almost died. Woo, he almost died. Almost lost another one. But never mind. He's been recruited. He's going into the pits. I then track down the serpent again. Giving him the old palm to the face, the big shame, the shamies. And this one finally does it. He finally goes crazy. Just look at this. Oh, beautiful. The beautiful shames. I track him down again. This is the really key moment here. I just gotta make sure that I don't kill him. I've killed a lot. I'm just peppering him with arrows very carefully. And it's just enough. Just enough to weaken him down so that I can recruit him without killing him. Wow. God, I'm so careful. Maybe I've learned. Maybe I've learned how to do this safely throughout the duration of this video. I feel like I, we've seen some real character growth in this video, guys. And what better way to finish off a good old-fashioned shaming video than to let a random Olog kill me. To unlock their full potential. Here we go. I was running past this guy. I liked the look of him. And I was like, you know what? Why not? I'll let you punch me a few times in the face. There we go. He's crushed my head. What's he going to become? Let's see, lad. What are you going to say? Got personality? Personality check? Kill the ranger. It's promotion now for Sir Lasso. Not much of a personality, I'll be honest. Let's see if he can change it with his look. What are we thinking, chat? Is he going to be cool? What would you bet your battle box on? Oh, he's killed. Oh, thank God. I thought he was going to kill someone there. Jesus, I really thought he was going to take someone's life, and that would have been terrible. Here we go. Is he going to put some clothes on? Oh my god, the triple skull, the, the, wow, the, blah, 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 the nipple piercings, the triple skulls, the poisoned weapon, the little hood, the defiler. Very cool, very cool, very nice. 